Hello again everybody and welcome back to the channel. Today we're taking a little look at a tip that I've been sent by one of our channel members, uh, Sathira, so thanks in advance to you. Uh, something that's actually changed with Sim Update 5 um, and it's caused a bit of a um, graphical downgrade if you like, so I'm hoping I'll share this with all of you guys and you'll be able to uh, enjoy it and find some sort of benefit from it. While you're here, make sure you hit like and subscribe down below. And of course, as always, let me know what you think in the comments below. We're going to talk about ray tracing. And uh, basically, in a real short summary as I understand it, it is how the simulator displays light within the world around us. So how it reflects off surfaces and how the light itself behaves within the simulator. And uh, Sim Update 5, Sobo, have actually turned that off. It seems like they've probably turned it off to assist with the performance within the new Xbox version, of course, but those of us on PC, especially those of us that have got some powerful rigs or mid-range PCs like I've got, might actually want it back on again. Uh, it's certainly a good thing for us with the way the light interacts with the environment around us, uh, especially off the aeroplane itself. So, what do we do? What do we need to look out for? And how do we fix it? What you want to do is go to the location where your Microsoft Flight Simulator is installed. I purchased it inside the Microsoft Store, so uh, for me it's just within my PC itself. I'm not quite sure where it lives upon Steam, but uh, those of you using Steam will know exactly how to find it. But go into wherever you've got Microsoft Flight Simulator installed and go to Local Cache. Right down the very bottom here you'll see userconfig.opt right click it and you want to open it with notepad or notepad plus plus and here we go this value here for those of you with sim update 5 which is basically everybody because it's a mandatory updates has now changed to zero and uh, what they've done as I've said a minute ago they've actually turned ray tracing off by doing this so to turn it back on again and get those visual gains all we need to do is turn that to a 1 hit go to file hit save come out of it and then run Microsoft Flight Simulator again. That is literally it. I hope you found it really useful. Don't forget to subscribe. Give us a little thumbs up as well before you go. And uh, hopefully this is going to be a benefit to all of you. So um, let me know what you think in the comments below and how you get on. In the meantime, as always, thanks for watching and I hope to see you in a live stream very soon.